So I'm gonna post this video. Um, one of the things that I notice in in people is a mocking sense of fear, dread, or paranoia if they speak out. And we all do this. But there's a video on the internet that I'd like to point out that was posted by a person who was working as a cab driver. Corey Langdon went through the um, the taxi lineup or taxi line below the shooting and she starts recording just after the shooting starts according to the taxi dashboard computer according to some sources that looked at it and I'm just quoting from their website I'm not quoting from my own work at the 5 minute and 25 mark you can hear the sound of distant gunshots ending at 529 and that's the last time shots are heard on the vi on the vid so <clears throat> the first five minutes of the video are the most important for a lot of people and it the video was recording at 10.09, so that had four minutes. So four minutes plus five, you get the idea. And that's just because that's how the recording was done. This was done from an iPhone, and it was uploaded onto her Facebook page. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> the Corey Langdon Mandalay Bay Taxi Line video was originally on Facebook. She was asked to edit it for her fare's privacy request, and it became a shorter version, like 15 minutes. But the unedited full version in lower resolution <clears throat> is on Barbie Sue Cherokee Sparrowhawk's uh, YouTube channel, and it was posted October 2nd. <clears throat> and Corey Langdon's video, if you try to look for it on Facebook, you find it buried under Facebook's habit of protecting everybody from being able to archive anything. So you can see when it was posted, and you can even see the thumbnail for it, and you can see the original file length. But that's it. <clears throat> she also uploaded her version of it that was edited for 15 minutes length, which is in high resolution, on her uh, Corey Langdon's uh, own YouTube channel, which wasn't very much time afterwards. It's the official YouTube video, and I'll even bring it up on my screen really quickly and pause it and have a look at it. And that was posted December 30th, 1st, October 2017. So that's in high res, or at least high enough resolution. But the original off of her, uh, off of her Facebook page, the original, original, 18 minute long is gone. Uh, because they don't have an editing function on Facebook that would let you do the simple things of making it to where nobody can download people's identities and that sort of thing. She posted it originally as, Was that Mandalay Bay in the taxi line? <clears throat> as the title. And I'll include the links below, but I wanted to point out something. Um... And there's also backup copies of it everywhere. And I, I don't have the original file in original full res copy. I'm curious if anybody has it. <clears throat> One of the websites that was called 10.1.2017 um, had a back a full backup copy of it, a binary copy. It was a very well done website where the person running it went out of their way, even if it would be inconvenient for you to view it, to prove that they valued chain of evidence. If anybody knows of the original copy, the clean one, as clean as possible, at full resolution. A lot of people would like to have that. The only one on archive.org that was manually uploaded is a copy of the same one that was on uh, a Barbie, Barbie Sue Cherokee Sparrowhawks YouTube channel. <clears throat> and it was originally titled, uploaded because, you know, the takedown. This presumption that it'll always be torn down isn't really just based on YouTube being jerks about tearing shit down. It's also based on the idea that Somehow, if you speak the truth, even if your voice wavers, do so. But expect to be censored. And this is a very bad learned helplessness we have in this country, and everybody has in every country, honestly. And I think we need to do something like uh, 101-2017.com did, or org, or whatever it was called, and go out of our way to make it to where taking this stuff down is literally impossible because we can't be tracked down to punish us and get us to do it, and the data stays up. <clears throat> the only ones I've seen that do that, unfortunately, have to implement very strong structured sort of things like, you know, the onion router, you know, uh, torrents. I'm curious if anybody has one of those. Now, if you have one, please post below. Again, I'm looking for the original full resolution, 18 minute and 
39 or 18 minute and 40 second version that was on her Facebook page. Not because I'm trying to bother the people that were in the cab or anything, but because the raw, uncooked, unaltered version of it is necessary. And I don't even know where to find it anymore. Not that it's really supposed to be important. This is a long time ago. But um, this is like me wanting CNN to have never put their stupid crawlers and tags on everything and give us a full resolution, unaltered version of that video that was an NTSC that at least we could work with on September 11th, 2001. I'm very upset with CNN never thinking that they should get rid of their stupid copyright obsession like everybody else and just give up the data. The video data was evidence. This is part of what caused the 9-11 truther movement to happen was the perception that you weren't allowed to have the raw data. And, of course, then people would uh, modify what they had to prove what they wanted, like changing the speed of the free fall. You see, this attempt to control information causes it to become chaotic. The more you grip something, the more it slips out of your hands. Let it go. And I do believe YouTube has never learned that lesson ever. But um, I'm all in favor of free access to information. So if you know where it is, this is an RFC RFI. And also, I'm going to say this. If Corey Langdon actually has the original video recording in full resolution, have someone very carefully block out the parts where the people's faces are visible in it if you're worried about people being seen, you know, for privacy reasons, and upload it, or upload it raw if you can. It is a piece of history, and it is only one of a few recordings that need to be left in original format. Not just the audio, but the video. Uh, I'm getting a little tired of people showing up sniping that, you know, you can't disprove me because the evidence is gone. They rely on that. Every demon relies on facts being disappeared, books being burned, libraries being bulldozed, people fading memories, witnesses dying. That needs to be prevented. Never forget. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.